If you've ever tripped on a microphone cable and pulled over your camera stand, you'll know the benefits of using wireless audio gear. The new wireless kit by Rode called the New Shooter is the latest addition to their videographer's wish list. Stick around and you'll see how it performs against my checklist using a dynamic, a condenser, a shotgun and even a lavalier microphone. G'day, my name is Gary and you're watching the channel that makes choosing and using audio gear just a little bit easier with reviews and tutorials. Rode microphones have sent me the new shooter kit to review and I'm keen to hear how it performs alongside the filmmaker that I've been using for some time now. First, let's have a look at what you get in the kit before I set it up on the test bench. The new shooter, just like the filmmaker, is supplied with the Rodelink receiver along with a connecting cable. Extra mounting hardware is included with the receiver to mount on your camera's hot shoe, a threaded stand or even a belt clip. The transmitter is designed for handheld presentation microphones as well as shotgun microphones and this is where it shines because it, it plugs directly into these professional type XLR microphones but it even makes it a little bit more versatile. It has an input that can be used for lavalier microphones. The new shooter has switchable phantom power for condenser microphones that need 48 volts and it also has power for lavalier mics that need the 3 to 5 volt plug-in power from a mini jack. On the side of the unit you have a mini USB power socket if needed and a headphone output for live monitoring the microphone that you've got plugged in. On the front there's a plastic slide cover that slides down allowing access to the controls below the menu screen. Included in the kit is a protective case for the transmitter when it's being used in the field and I really like the way it leaves access to all the essential controls and inputs. On the back of the case they've included a very strong belt clip for when you're using the transmitter with a lavalier or head mounted microphone. To make the microphones fit securely on the XLR connector Rode have included some coloured rubber spacers of varying thicknesses to secure the mic and eliminate mechanical noise in the connection. Last of all, there's a hexagonal tool for tightening down the locking thread to stop it rotating once the mic's fitted. And of course you get all the normal paperwork for you to read when you're stuck inside on a rainy night. As far as the build quality is concerned, the transmitter is in a different ball game to the filmmaker. The new shooter is a big jump up in quality because the case is made mainly of metal. I'm really impressed how strong this thing is. Quite. The outside corners are covered in a protective rubber that extends down to the rubber feet that make it very stable when it's standing. And looking inside the battery compartment it becomes evident that a lot of work has gone into building a durable transmitter. Good design all round with the robust battery caddy easily interchangeable with the common Sony NPF batteries and this will give extended life. To give us something to compare it with, I'm recording this dynamic reporter microphone directly into the H5 recorder. I'll pause between the recordings so that you can listen to any background noise with this direct connection. As you can see, I've added the road link system in. And uh, when you add anything into a signal chain like this, you can listen for any deterioration in audio quality and a processing component like this could always change the way the mic sounds or can even add noise into the background. Now to simulate how the gear is designed to be used I've plugged the wireless system directly into the Canon 80D. Now a lot will argue that DSLR cameras have got noisy mic inputs and look I don't argue the fact but this is the way the gear is marketed to be used so let's have a listen and see how it sounds and whether it's got a lot of background noise. I've plugged in the Bayer Dynamic 70D which is a hypercardioid microphone and it has the benefit of being able to reduce room reflections. Now testing the new shooter kit with a, a true condenser microphone that uh, needs phantom power, I've switched the gear to 48 volts and it's uh, powering the mic fine. Uh, this is a cardioid pattern microphone. It's a Biodynamic TGV56C 
Uh, be interesting to hear what sort of difference there is in quality. Removing the cable between your phantom powered shotgun microphone and your camera can certainly add a lot of freedom. But one thing you'd have to be very careful of was that it didn't add any noise to the system and it didn't deteriorate your audio. It's all well and good to have a wireless microphone, but if it deteriorates the quality of the sound, then you might as well have a lead. Now for the last test, I've switched over the inputs on the new shooter to the TRS mini jack and I've got the Rode lav mic plugged into it so we'll have a listen to see what the quality of audio is like with that. So I'll just position it in place. Even though the new shooter is not designed primarily for this setup, it does give you another option. The new shooter is dead easy to pair up with the receiver. It uses the proven Series 2 2.4 GHz digital transmission that just automatically determines the best frequency to use. And it's able to constantly monitor and hop between these frequencies to maintain the strongest possible signal level. There's three multifunction buttons that make your adjustments to inputs, input gain, headphone monitoring and phantom power. These menu controls are easy to access but working through the basic menu system is not as intuitive as you may think. I even read carefully through the instructions and still found it a little confusing. It normally wouldn't be a problem if you have it set up on one particular microphone, but if you're swapping be between mics, it could be an issue. The two mic connections are very easy to use because of their high quality and the accessories fit well, so there's no problem there. It's evident that a lot of work has gone into the design of this transmitter and it's truly a professional addition to the RodeLink wireless system. If you want reliability, good build quality, without the frustration that comes with cheaper wireless audio gear, then the new shooter is well worth considering. Don't forget to check out the discussion in the comments section and if you have some questions of your own about this gear, I'll reply as quickly as I can because your support's important to me. And if this is the first time that you've watched a video from our channel and you'd like to learn more about sound gear in a simple and easy to understand format, then go ahead and subscribe. But don't forget to click on the little bell icon to get a reminder or you'll leave the choosing of videos up to YouTube. You know, and you can only watch so many mad cat videos, can't you? You know, there's one thing I've learned after 30 years or so that I've been working with sound gear. You don't have to be a sound engineer to learn the basics of improving your audio. Sounds easy when you have simple, easy to understand videos. Until next time, I'll catch you later.